Hey guys, so uh, today we are going to talk a little bit about the present continuous. Now, we have studied the present continuous before. Uh, we know that we use the present continuous to talk about an action which is in progress and happening now at the time of speaking. I am teaching English. You are learning English. You are listening to me. Three sentences there using present continuous. But did you know we can use the present continuous to describe a future action? Hmm, present to describe the future. How is that possible, Jonathan? I can hear you ask. Let's have a look at a sentence. I am teaching English. You are going home. Uh, we are not, we aren't uh, swimming, for example. I am teaching English, you are going home, we are not, using a negative example, we are not swimming. Three examples of present continuous sentences. So how can I possibly use these to describe a future action? Do I, do I add a going to somewhere or do I, do I add will? No. I add a future time phrase. A future time phrase. Let's say, for example, right now, it is 4.30 p.m. 4.30 p.m. 16.30, uh, as you may say in Europe. 4.30 p.m. I am teaching English, present for now. But if I add a word, tomorrow, a future time expression. I am teaching English tomorrow. I have used the present continuous to describe an action which will be in progress but at a future time and this future time expression has uh, indicated that for us. You are going home tonight. You are going home tonight. Again, we have used a future time expression using present continuous to describe a future action. We aren't swimming later. We aren't swimming later. Another example of using present continuous to describe a future action and how have we done it? We have done it by using these future time expressions. These are very useful. Tomorrow, tonight, later, next week, next month, in November. We can use them together with this present continuous to really add emphasis and describe that an action will be in progress and happening at a future time. And it can be a little bit easier than using will and going to. As we have discussed before, that can be a little bit confusing for you. So perhaps this structure might help you to describe a future action, using the present continuous with a future time phrase. I hope this has been useful for you guys. I am teaching tonight, so I will see you tomorrow. Good luck!